In the previous video, I mentioned that you should use animation sparingly. However, in this case, since we want to give you an animation challenge, we're going to make an exception. Where else do you think you can add some animation in Time Fighter? Well, how about the score? Highlighting that the score has changed can certainly be a good way to add animation, even in a regular app. You can certainly do another scale animation, but since you already know how to do that, that's a bit boring. How about blinking the score label each time the score increases? Now, do you think you can do that? If you're wondering how you can blink a text view, it's actually fairly simple. You decrease the transparency of the text bill text view until it is invisible, then you gradually bring the transparency back up again. And really, that's all there is to it. And, you, and as you might have guessed, there's an existing Android transformation to do just that. It uses the alpha value or the transparency of the view. If you need additional hints, then the animation tag to use is alpha. And you can find information about the matching Android animation class by this URL that you see on the screen. Once one more hint, you might need to check out the inherited XML attributes section for the XML attributes of the parent animation class to see all the XML attributes you can use. Now pause the video and see if you can do this. Welcome back. Okay, let's make this animation. With your project open, add another animation resource file to the app res anim folder and name it blink. Add the following to the blink XML file, replacing the existing set tag in its contents. The from alpha and to alpha tags control the animation value for the animation and that duration. There are other attributes like the repeat mode and repeat count that can be used here to customize the animation. Feel free to experiment them if you'd like. Now add the following to the end of the increment score in mainactivity.kt. This is very similar to the animation code from the previous video. You instantiate the animation and then you start it for the given view, which in this case is the score text view. Let's run it. And look at that, we have our blink.